Hello everyone and welcome to Gadgets 360. Today we are going to take a look at the Android P Developer Preview 2 on a OnePlus 6 device. We're going to tell you how you can get it for your device, how you can install it, what all are the changes in the Preview 2 and if it is good enough for a daily driver. So stay tuned. Before we begin, let me tell you that it is an extremely risky process and you might break your OnePlus 6 device. So before you begin with the process, be sure to back up everything from your OnePlus 6. At the same time, it isn't really hard to go ahead and install it. If you follow steps, you should be able to sail through. Also, it is a beta build, which means that it isn't completely stable and you will encounter bugs and crashes very often. But if you still want to go ahead and try your hands on the next version of Android, well, here's how you can install it. First of all, you will need to download the Android P Developer Preview 2 build from the link in the description below. Now OnePlus Forum has an install guide as well and you can go ahead and read through it. Now one of the key things you need to remember while you are installing the beta build is that you need to copy the file into the root folder on the phone and then go into settings and system update and apply a local upgrade from that file. Once it's installed, it will ask you to reboot. You need to go ahead and shut down the phone at that point. Do not reboot. This may cause your device to go into a boot loop. And now that you have shut down your phone, you'll need to go ahead and perform a factory reset from recovery. After you're done with that, you can go ahead and reboot the phone and the phone should boot into a fresh version of Android P Beta. Once it's installed, you'll notice some changes right off the bat. The interface for one is closer to what stock Android P experience is like. The dialer, settings menu, and app drawer are all reminiscent of that. The developer preview 2 update for the OnePlus 6 also brings features such as show and high toggle for the notch. Now this is still buggy and it requires you to reboot the phone after you toggle the setting. Ambient display settings, the ability to choose a custom accent color, and Google Lens integration in the stock camera app. And there's support for the dual camera setup on the phone as well. Now, if you are coming from the first developer preview, well, the face unlock now works in the second version. Camera stability is much better. Even apps don't crash as often as they used to on the first preview for the Android P. Now that said, it does introduce a few more bugs of its own with the second preview. It can't access hidden Wi-Fi SSIDs and you can't call out to Google Assistant by voice. The camera portrait mode is also broken. We're sure there's a lot more bugs waiting to be discovered. This is a beta build after all. And there's no confirmation as of when Android P will finally drop on the OnePlus 6. But looking at how OnePlus is dealing with previews, well, it might may take a little longer from the official Google rollout. But the more important question here is, what does Android P stand for? Let the guessing game start in the comment section below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to gadgets360.com.